Hey y'all, uh, this is Christy from Tea Dottles. <laughs> um, today I'm going to be making candles with my little candle making kit I got off of Amazon. Uh, this comes with uh, the wicks and these little holder things and then this big bag of soy wax. This is soy wax. Um, I'm going to be using these little jars uh, that I recycled from yogurt eating yogurt yeah okay uh this is the yogurt we oui, if you've ever had it and i noticed this has some sticky on it still uh, the ones that have the little decoration under the label they usually come off pretty clean without any sticky residue but these uh labels sometimes leave a sticky residue so i'll pull that off um and by the way, I'm filming this in my kitchen. I brought my art light in here to try to get some more uh, light because I had to open my cabinet door to hang this thing. <laughs> and my phone, my camera is hanging on. And so I couldn't get a good shot of the whole thing. I have the stove. I have to use the stove to do this. So that is why we're in here <laughs> in my kitchen. And so, but... Anyway, I want to show you what I, this is what I use to remove the sticky from the, uh, thing. Uh, the candle, the, the yogurt jar. Lord have mercy. Alright, so I just spray a little bit on there. And I let it set on a paper towel usually just to kind of soak in good. It doesn't take very long. I have a few other ones. Yeah, this one. Had some stuff on it. Should have opened my paper towel out bigger. Yeah, some of have these have stuff on them. Uh, let's see. This one, this one looks like I already cleaned it. This one's got some gook on it. Generally, I wash these out and I pull the labels off and I set them on my shelf in there until I'm ready to do something with them, which is what I've been collecting these for. Um, so, once that sets, it really doesn't take very long at all. Like I said, I can go ahead and start rubbing this off. It's an oily kind of thing, so it leaves a residue a bit. So I will want to wash this off before I put a candle in it because um, I don't want it to see set anything on fire because of the oily stuff um let's see this has got a little piece of the sticker left on it still all right so i just wanted to show y'all how easy it was this one's still got a little bit on it but usually i don't have to apply any more i can usually just rub it until it all comes off it's not sticky or anything sometimes i have to squeak it off <laughs> No, that's just the, the etched on letters all right so it comes off pretty cleanly like i said those will have to be washed again because i really don't want that oily stuff on there when i pour uh candle wax hot candle wax in them or either that or when i light a candle and i haven't cleaned it good okay so this one's sticking a little bit more than usual so sometimes you'll get one like that. And usually I'll just put a little bit more stuff on, which I will in a minute. I just wanted to show y'all. I think that one's clean. All right, so. Since these all have stuff on them, I'm going to move them off to the side. And I will deal with them later. We will use, oh, I left one behind. We will use these. These are all clean. Wipe this down real good. Ooh, did I get any on there? Hopefully I didn't. All right, so. Get everything cleaned off good. I'm going to wipe my hands off real quick, too. All right, so. I'm also going to be putting candle wax in these two uh, conch shells that I have. What is on that? Okay. 
So what I've decided is that this one I'm going to stand up like this because if I lay it down, it kind of run it would run out. I thought standing up like this would be good. This one should be fine like this. Even though this comes here, it has a little lip here, kind of. It should sit down in that portion really nicely. That is the hope, anyway. Um, yeah. So, the way I'm going to do the wax is because you should not put this in the microwave, any wax, in case you did not know this, because it doesn't heat evenly, and it could burn things, and it could, it's just not a good idea, okay? So, I've got this glass Pyrex, well, this is an anchor hawking, sorry, um, uh, measuring cup, this is a four cup measuring cup, okay? It's glass, this is very safe for, uh, heat and uh cooking use and everything i say cooking use only but um you could do candy in it so i'm going to do wax in it and if it messes up my cup my, my glass uh measuring cup i will go get another one because i don't use the big one as much as i use my small one so and then off the side which you can't really see i have a big let's see if i can pull this over here it's full of water a big big like frying pan this is what this is with water in it and that's because i'm going to heat the water and i'm going to put the wax in here and it's going to melt the wax okay so you have to stir it and then i have my this is a candy thermometer but it works for this as well um if you want to use it for candy again you have to really clean it good okay since this is soy wax i'm not too concerned about that but uh, some people would prefer to use it only for wax candles. And I think they probably suggest you do that. But I just am not doing that. <laughs> so uh, follow the instructions uh, given to you. By the way, this this did not come with instructions. If you go to, uh, the, I bought it off of Amazon. If I go there, they have instructions under the product on Amazon. But they didn't have instructions in the box. So just be aware of that. Um, yeah. So, it says we need to heat it to 160 degrees, but if you want to add fragrance or dyes, you have to heat it to 180, okay? Um, I'm just going to be doing uh, essential oils. I've got some orange, uh, lemon, I'll probably be mixing those together, I like citrus scents. i got peppermint. I have eucalyptus oil which actually i find very relaxing i have a eucalyptus candle in my uh bedroom uh because i lavender i cannot do uh, and i have some cinnamon oil so i don't know if i'll be able to try all those <laughs> with what i'm doing but we're gonna see okay so now let's see we'll do two eucalyptus two cinnamon two peppermint and then two with the orange and lemon okay so and then i don't know what i'm going to put in these yet so uh like i said this thing comes with this is to hold your wick it has three different holes although i will say none of them are centered over my jar but uh the reason it's stacked like this is because you can use it on wider and wider jars but this fits just fine here and it's used to hold your wicks, which are very long because uh, they're just don't know what size container you're going to use. And you would put this down here like that. And you put this over it. And it just helps hold it in place when you pour your wax in, okay? And I only have two, so I'm just going to do two at a time with this. Since I only have two uh, wick holders. Where did it go? Oh, there it is down in my bag okay so let's just get two of those going like that you can also use a bit of the wax to hold your wick if you would like I'll move these out of the way I'm sorry for all the clanging but it's really unavoidable when you're working with jars <laughs> all right so I'm just gonna this bag it's kind of sucked down with all the air out of it so I'm gonna just cut it open all right I'll move these out from in here 
here. Alright, there we go. Ooh. So, I need a spoon, which luckily is right here. I'm going to just scoop some of this out. You probably want a bigger spoon, maybe. <laughs> this is the smallest spoon, but I'm going to stir with it, so that's why I got that spoon. Well, like I said, you may want to dedicate certain things only to candle making if you do this a lot because it's probably going to leave a residue which I think I can wash off if not like I said I will get a new uh, measuring cup and one of my spoons will be fine to save for that so I'm going to put I'm just going to put about a cup in here okay because I have two little small things I don't think it's going to um, I don't think it's going to bother it but I'm going to turn my stove uh, on I'm not going to turn it all the way to high, which I usually would for boiling. I'm going to turn it like medium high. In between medium and high, if that makes any sense. Uh, and I'm going to set my jar, my measuring cup, just in the center of this pot with the water. And it's going to take a minute for this to boil and melt. So I'll be back when it's ready to pour. Okay? Okay, so I wanted to kind of get let y'all see how this is working um, I'm trying not to get too close because I don't want the, <laughs> the steam in my phone but you can see it's starting to melt uh, down in there and I'm stirring it so it's just gonna melt and I just need to put my candy thermometer down in there so I can keep up with the temp oh, well it doesn't want to stay on my there but it'll be fine okay all right so I'll be back in a moment okay here it is almost all the way melted you can see some big blobs in there that is like big chunks sorry my finger is getting in the way but uh, you may want to break those up more I did have to add more wax because once it melts down it's way less um, than what you measure at first because it's loose you know so I just added more as I need, saw the need to, I am uh, going to check the temperature on this. It is not quite, let's see, it's going up. It's not quite there yet. It's got a, a good bit to go before it gets to the temperature I need it to be to um, add my essential oils. Um, I would also like to say that if... The steam coming off this bothers your hands. You may want to wear like some heat proof, glo proof gloves or something. I don't feel that it's any different than me stirring over a boiling pot of food that I'm having boiling like this for some reason. So it doesn't bother me, but um, it just be aware that there is pretty warm steam coming off of this, which is another reason I didn't turn it up too high to put that, keep that steam from being so hot. So just be aware of that okay okay one more thing about this candy thermometer in case you've never used one before you, you don't want to put it where it touches the bottom because that can register like a different temperature than what the internal temperature of the liquid is because it's sitting directly on the pan because this has a clip it's designed to clip to the side of the pan that you're cooking in but this it won't stay on this glass so I'm just kind of holding it in the middle so I can read a temperature on it uh, because in that red line you can see that's where the temperature is. So I'm getting close to 150 so it's taking a little bit of time to get to where I need to be. I need to be at 180 to add the scents. So still got a little ways to go. Okay I'm ready to pour the wax into the candle holders. I turned off my eye and I have put on a an oven mitt to grab this jar because it is hot. Not this jar, sorry. This measuring cup because it is very hot. So you have my oven mitt on. You don't want to grab that without an oven mitt on. Don't do it. Now we're going to very carefully pour into these containers. I added the lemon and orange. I put about 20 drops of each because I want these to smell really nice. 
I'm going to leave a little space and I may actually not have put enough wax in here for both of these. This is sort of didn't measure. Okay, actually this worked out pretty good. One is a little bit fuller than the other, but it's pretty good. My little ew, my candle wick is not one to stay. So this wick is not standing up straight. It's like it got hot and then it just started. Okay. I guess it's just going to go off to the side like that because I can't get it to stand straight. This one's doing a little better. As you can see, this one's really crooked. Um, I don't know what happened there. That just sort of bent and it didn't want to stay. Uh, so yeah, once it gets hot, they're kind of coated in wax. So, I guess maybe you're supposed to stick it into that little dent there, which I didn't do. So, mm, so we'll see how this works up. We got to let these set up and then we'll come back. Um, I'm actually going to melt some more wax while these set up. Just carefully move these off to the side over here. I want to melt some more wax because I want to try putting it into these and see how it goes, okay? I think that I can, let me set this down. Take my oven mitt off. I think I could probably just put me a wick down in there, kind of like that. That's what I'm going to do because I don't think that wick holder would work. This one works really well. It's sticking straight up. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Actually, let's see. Maybe if I did it like this so that it'll maybe stick up right there. Yeah, we'll see how it works. This is a little different than the jars. So I'm going to melt some wax up and I think I'm going to put some, um, actually I probably should put the lemon in here, shouldn't I? It'll be fine. I'm going to put the eucalyptus oil in Actually, no. I, st I think I'm just going to do the orange. I just don't feel like those scents belong in a shell. Is that weird? <laughs> I don't know. But I will be back once I get the wax melted, and then I'll show you um, what it looks like when I pour it in here. Okay? But these have got to set up, and we'll take a look at them once they get set up, and I'll show you what it's like. Okay? All right. My wax is ready. I'm going to attempt to pour it into these <laughs> shells over here. You can see that the wax over here, maybe you can tell, it's starting to cloud up a bit. Now, I did move these after it started setting some because they were had drifted all the way to the side. So now they are more somewhat centered than they were before. So um, now I'm going to put on my oven mitt again. And you do need something that's got some good protection. Don't, not like a, you know, something that you're going to grab and hold for a minute. Kind of oven mitt, if that makes sense. If you're grabbing something out of the oven and then you put it down real quick, it doesn't usually bother you much as if you're standing here holding it. So just be aware of that. So let's see what, how this works. I'm hoping that this does not crack the shell because I have seen people do this before. It's starting to come out of the All right, I've filled that up about as much as I think I can. Don't want that wick to be All right. Let's see how this one does. Oh, it's running out on the counter. <laughs> I was hoping it wouldn't do that, but I don't think, hmm, let's see, let me, let me rethink this for a minute, y'all, um, hmm, that is not good, I need to lift this up some, there, I'm gonna do that, <laughs> as you can see, I've never poured wax into a candle, I mean, a shell before, um, so let's try this again. It 
it's still coming out this but I want that set up a bit and then I'm gonna see if I can add more to it I just thought I'd get more wax in it before it started coming out let's see if I can no no I know we can add more to that it's gonna come up that side over here um so we're just gonna let this sit and see how it does because it's Certainly not going to be a very deep candle. Just slightly disappointing. But I'm hoping that if it sets up a bit, I can add some more. But I don't know. We'll see how this goes. This is going to take a bit to set up. I'm going to have to redo my wax. So I will be back whenever that happens. But um, this is all been a process, I'm going to say. I've, I've made candles with a kit a long, long, long time ago. So this is a little bit different. But, uh, yeah, I think this is fun. I don't know how about these. They just, you can't get the wax very deep before it starts running out. Let me see if I can prop this up some more. Um, I think this one is definitely deeper. Yeah, it's definitely deeper than this one is getting because the way it's sitting... Thought it would hold more. Hmm. Also, more paper towels. Y'all got a big old mess on my counter. Big old mess. It's all right. That's what counters are for. All right. I'll fold that in half. And in half one more time. It really needs to go up further than that. I don't know if I have anything else to put under that. Let's pour a little bit more wax in there. more in there now that works so I needed to prop that end up that makes sense um, that little bump just wasn't tall enough to keep it from uh, falling out falling running out the shell now oh, it's got a little bit late while I'm filming this just be aware of that uh, so prop that up just a little bit more I think I can get a little bit more wax in it. Uh, yeah. I have a big mess to clean up too. That's gonna be fun. All right, yeah, I got that filled up. That's a whole lot better. There's way more wax in there to burn. Don't think that's staying very well, but I'll try to move it again once the, um, once it sets. I really don't know. I really can't do much to this to try to get it to hold more wax. It's coming up the side of this. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's not coming over, so that's good. I think that's all I'm going to get, y'all. I think that's all I'm going to get. I'm going to try to do another... I got enough wax left in here. I think I can use some. I'm gonna try sticking some wax on the bottom of this and see if it'll hold it because I don't have it. You can. I've seen people like take bamboo sco ske skewers, skewers and stuff to help hold this up while the wax is setting. This is not working very good. Plus, it's probably going to melt when I pour the wax in. But we'll see. We'll see. I don't think this is enough wax for this whole jar. It is not. It's barely enough. But I can add more. That's the good thing about that. i got to find something to hold that up with. Let's see. I'm going to... Do something very technical here. <laughs> there, that works. Okay, so now we gotta let this stuff set up 
and we'll be back and see how everything turned out, all right? So I will see y'all at the end of this video. Bye. Okay, time to see how the fin final candles turned out. I was just going to film this over here or just at my counter in the kitchen, but halfway through the video, my dog decided it was a great time to drink all the water in her bowl. She's very loud. So then I decided to move into here and she decided to sit in the hallway and lick her foot. I had to go put her on the couch, I swear. It's like having little kids. Every time you try to do something, they decide they got to do something too. But anyway, these are the candles. I've got to trim the wicks off. I just, I'll just cut that with a, um, some scissors, but here's how they set up. Um, these, I can smell them if I put my nose right up to them. I may have, but it's kind of like I can see a sheen of oil on the top a little bit too. So I'm not sure, I don't know if y'all can see that. I'm not sure if that's what it's supposed to do. I'm not sure how these will smell. Um, I gotta clean the wax off the side that I dripped on the side of all of these. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I, I'll test and see if it smells at all. Ooh, most candles you can, that have a good smell when you light them, you can smell them, but without getting that close to them. So I may need to up the amount of um, the oil I put in there. We'll see. I've got more of these to do. They just took a little longer than I expected, only because it takes a while to get the temperature up to the point that it needs to be, and then beyond if you want to get the whack, the scent in or coloring. I only went to 175 degrees instead of 180, because I was tired of waiting. But I felt like that that was more for if you have dye pellets to make sure they're dissolved, but um, now that I see this kind of sheen on the top. I feel like I maybe I should have did it a little longer. Um, these are my uh, shell candles. Joe will also trim the wicks on. They turn out pretty good. Just got a good bit of wax in there once I got them set up like they needed to be. These will be interesting to see how they burn. Um, yeah. It was a fun process. Although I, I started it too late in the evening. Hold on. Okay. To give me something to drink. My mouth was like a, so dry I couldn't hardly swallow. It's just ridiculous. Anyway, um, so I hope my camera is not shaking as it records. I had to set this thing back up in here so to get back into my sweet spot because I had to use it in the kitchen to record. I had to hang it from my cabinet, <laughs> my open cabinet, to get it to work. Um. Anyway, what I was saying about the temperature, um, it takes a minute because you, I, I did use the Pyrex, the glass Pyrex measuring cup. It cleaned pretty well. I haven't seen it since it dried. I may need to clean it once again. Um, and the pan with the water in it. One thing I forgot to mention about the water is it'll have kind of a rolling, little bubbling. It's not a full boil. It's just a simmer, a, a slow boil. I'll get it right in a minute. Um, but it will evaporate. So it, if once it starts getting lower, because it takes so much time to get that temperature up, I, the bubbles will get faster. You need to add more water, but do not add cold water. <laughs> That's not something you need to do. I would put the hottest water from your faucet that you can in there. It's still going to stop the boiling for a little bit, but not as long. And it will uh, be safer because you don't want that extreme temperature difference interacting all of a sudden it can cause bad things to happen now the pyrex those are not a pyrex it was anchor hawking but it's very similar things they are meant for more extreme temperature changes it could still it could break or something you don't need to be doing that okay so don't do that <laughs> um just add a little bit and i used the hottest water from my faucet that i could get and then just added it slowly and let it build back up because it will evaporate and it will get too low. You don't want it to get empty. Yeah, you don't want that glass sitting on that pan empty like that. Although it's meant for uh, those kind of uh, some things like that, it's not something that should be on direct like the directly on the air heat those that glassware. Okay, if you didn't know that. 
So yeah, I think it was a fun process. Uh, now this kit is not for someone who is looking for a full kit that tells you how to do everything. Like I said, I had to go online to find instructions for the melting point because it wasn't in the box. It was just the wax, the wicks, and that's it. Um, I will put a link down below if you want to check it out. But I will put links to some full kits I saw on Amazon that have, uh, they have like the, the metal thing that you melt in and everything. And they, sometimes they even have the containers for you to put the wax in. So, um, since I already had containers, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> so, uh, but that is an option. Some of them have dyes and a little scents with them as well. So, um, yeah, it's fun. I enjoyed it. Um, as I was saying about stirring the wax, uh, there's steam that comes off of the pot. Of course, you've got a rolling boil going, but I don't see that any different than if I'm cooking over a hot stove and something is, you know, cooking and starting to boil up and you're stirring it. I don't, I don't see any difference with that. And if you've done any candy making, you know that it takes a while to get things to temperature sometimes. Um, so, yeah. You just have to do it. Uh you don't want to do it too quick because it can change the consistency of things you want to do it slowly like that until the temperature raises it's just a, you get a better finish with that with just about anything that you make that way um like coconut cream pie the filling oh yeah so anyway that is a wrap for this video y'all let me know what you think down below um like i said next week i'll be doing the watercolor pencils and we can check those out this podcast I will be t showing you two more things that will be up for little review tutorial things whatever you want to call them um, and you can pick which one you'd like to see first after the watercolors so I'll be looking for that podcast this weekend I had a podcast for this past weekend but I messed it up and it got deleted so yay me it was a lot of work for <laughs> nothing but Sometimes it happens. Ah, just try again. So, and this week is, this is only Tuesday, and this week has been crazy already. I'll talk about that in the podcast, though. So, I'm going to let y'all go for now so I can get this edited and get it up. So, y'all remember to have a life lived creatively, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.